The Plymouth County Sheriff's Department has spearheaded a self-defense community program geared specifically towards women. This class teaches not only the proper techniques to get away from danger and survive, but more importantly, how not to get yourself in a situation that may cost you your life. PCM went to the Plymouth County Sheriff's Training Facility to learn more. So you may recognize me from PCN's Arts and Entertainment Report, but today I'm taking you to Plymouth County Sheriff's Department to talk about what I learned at the women's self-defense class. Nice elbow, nice elbow. Hammers, hammers, kicks, oh, nice. Hammer, hammer fist. Out of the women's self-defense program, uh, you first start out with a approximately 35 to 45 minute uh, lecture on awareness. We're not teaching women to be fighters, we're teaching them to be survivors. How not to become a target, and if you are subject to an attack, to locate, think about soft area targets, the mouth, the nose, the eyes, the toes, the finger, the stomach, so forth, with knee strikes, punches, edge fists. These are all the techniques that are taught, basic, basic techniques, one, to get a body change in the attacker, enough distraction and disturbance to create enough space and distance to get away to a safety zone, because you matter. With that being said, we have Maureen, and one of the basic things that we talked about in the beginning was uh, basic stance. Stance is, is key. Without stance and balance, you don't have um, much of a, of, a, of a chance. So we express the importance of balance, and then we work into something basic as just a one-two punch. And we do that, repetition, repetition. And we just don't teach to punch. We teach to strike with the palm heel. Palm heel, one-two, through the target, one-two. That's a palm heel strike. And then we talk about edge fist, using the edge of your fist. Maureen, showing the place of location. The edge of the fist, kind of like a hammer strike. Hammer fist coming over the top of the body. One, two. Good. One, two. Very good. Myself and Captain Forts were involved in training with the Plymouth County Sheriff's Department. And a lot of times we sit down and we look at the general needs of training going forward. As society changes, we try to adapt our training to that. We identified the fact that it seemed like there was a rise in random stranger attacks against women, and we identified there's a need for a program for that. Uh, we got together and we put the program that we present now together. We uh, brought it to our sheriff, and we're lucky enough to have a sheriff that's very program, community program oriented, and um, he let us implement the class. We find that there's almost a sense of liberation with the people in the class. It's like they come in as one person and they leave another person. Everybody seems to take something away from this class. So with that being said, uh, you know, some of the techniques, the personal weapons, uh, one of the, um, the instruments that we, we like to uh, also put out there that you can get it online, um, it's called a Kubaton, K-U-B-O-T-A-N, Kubaton. It's five and a half inches of polyfiber. A lot of people do not even know what that is. So you, you, you put a couple of keys on the end, your house keys. Imagine these keys across to your face in an X fashion, across the face. Now, if you were to create enough space, I go to grab her, she pushes off, and she has it in what we call an ice pick fashion. Imagine this coming down to my eyes, my mouth, my nose, my throat. So I create enough space, I come at her, and she jams this into my face, my eyes. That is going to be a serious, serious body change. She lives to talk about it. It's basic stuff that you, technically we already know, but it, a lot of people don't think about it when they're in a situation, so it just helps you realize, you know, okay, if this happens, what am I gonna do? And just think about it. I would definitely recommend the class, well, any woman, but yeah, especially younger kids now that they're out, teenagers out on, they go to the mall or they go here and there and they're not really paying attention and it helps them to really realize, you know, what, what to be aware of when they're out alone. Yeah, it's made me feel really confident. You know, I work nights, you know, I come home, everybody around me is already in bed, and it gives me a little bit more confidence getting out of my truck at night. You know, the street lights aren't that great where I live, so yeah, it's given me a lot of confidence. I'm not overly confident, but it does give me the confidence, you know, and I, and I really enjoy it. I think everybody should at least try it once, yeah. So in conclusion, the women's self-defense class is a free service to the public, and what women walk away with is priceless.